What's up guys, John here, and I'm at the Titan headquarters down in beautiful, sunny Tampa, Florida. And I'm here with my beautiful wife, Sharice. Hi guys. And I'm here with another amazing special guest, Donna Crowley. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> so if you guys don't know who Donna is, Donna puts on amazing events around the Tampa Bay and St. Pete area, and she always helps us put on some amazing events like St. Pete Art and Fashion Week, which is the 15th and 16th of September. And uh, this year is not going to be any different from the previous years. It's only going to get better and better. So I want you guys to come out. But on the 15th, we have the opening night soiree and red carpet event. And then Saturday is the Big Bang Art and Fashion Show. It's going to have amazing designers, amazing artists. And we're going to have all different kinds of other things, like maybe some music or some different vendors out there that you guys can go and see. So if you guys are looking for something to do on the 15th and 16th and you want to be part of an amazing event, an amazing week, come out and see us at Art and Fashion Week in St. Petersburg, Florida. And I want to thank Donna Crowley and everybody at the Lux Fashion Group for helping put on such amazing events every single year. And we're looking forward to this year even more. So come join us the 15th and 16th. We'll see you there. See you then. See you then. Thaddeus Bullard, a.k.a. WWE Superstar and Global Ambassador Titus O'Neil here, getting ready to see my good friends at Titan. I've been a client at Titan since around 2018, mainly for, I mean, obviously beating up my body, uh, either through football or wrestling or basketball or whatever. Just needed, you know, to go see some professionals to kind of help me keep this train rolling. I'm very busy, active father, businessman, philanthropist, global ambassador. Tampa ambassador, uh, the list goes on and on. So to be able to function at the highest level on a regular basis and get my workouts, you know, I work out super early in the morning, like 5 a.m., uh, four or five days a week. Sometimes I work out three times in a day. I'll do lifting at five, uh, yoga at six, and then boxing at eight. And then sometimes I'll even throw a jujitsu practice in on the fourth for a fourth workout, which is insane. So I've had to learn how to kind of balance that stuff out. But I know for a fact, if I didn't have the glutathione, if I didn't have the BPC-157, if I didn't have the TB-500, uh, I would definitely not be able to function at the level that I function at. So Titan has definitely helped me. I feel better today at this point than I did a year ago. Like I said, I think I got the ultimate tag team partner in Titan to kind of help me get to where I want to be. You know, I got to be on planes, I got to be at speaking engagements, I got to shoot films, shoot movies. It's a balancing act that I know for a fact I would not be able to keep balanced if I didn't have my good friends at Titan. John and Sharice are awesome. They are first class in everything that they do. They're really like life coaches. So for me, I consider them friends, but I also am proud to be a client. So there you go. Come on down to Titan, make yourself an appointment, all the information is right here, 727-389-3220, or you can make an appointment online. Just go to titanmedicalcenter.com, get yourself an appointment. I'm getting ready to go to my appointment. Got to get my blood work done. So with that being said, peace. This is a Titan Medical Center movie review. What's up, guys? John here. I'm Sharice. We are back with another Titan Medical movie review just for you. So tonight uh, we got to see Meg 2 with Jason Stratum. So it's the return and that guy's of the like Megs. invincible, man. I love Jason Stratum. Yeah, he's good. He's good. Yeah, no matter what, I mean. No matter what, he always comes out alive. Yep. He always comes out alive. Yep. 
And he's always got those one-liners, right? They're classic action hero status. So, yeah, Jason Stratum back. Uh, Meg, too. So we know that more Megs are on the rise. And you've seen that in the trailer and stuff like that. It was slowing some parts where I think it could have been faster. And at that point, um, you know, I think, think it could have been a little bit better film all the way around. There was some good surprises in there as far as the different sea creatures that you're going to see. So it's not just sharks, which is that is pretty cool. Um, but yeah, so I'm going to give it. I'm going to give it like a three three zero on this one. John had a jump. Uh, I'm going to tell you guys, he had a jump. He never has a jump. Yeah, so it was like crossing. And I kind of like, oh my yes. god. <laughs> so I, you know, I guess that was good. I really don't jump, jump. So. I mean, jump on houses, so. John doesn't even get jumped like anywhere. He doesn't jump in scary movies. He doesn't jump anywhere. So Meg gets a five point five. <laughs> <laughs> that was the worst movie we've seen this year so far. One of the worst. Barbie, no, no, no. Barbie was the worst. <laughs> Barbie was definitely. And worse. I'm not just kidding. No, no, no. I love Meg the girls. definitely. Listen, at the end of the day, you know, Meg had to like have Jaws come to life in like. 2023 right yeah. so that's tough to do yeah. um it was good i thought too uh but however there's a lot of like you know scenes where you're like yeah, that would never happen or that would never happen or you would be dead or you just died yeah. and they're still alive so but, you know that was the difference between i think uh jaws because like, nobody's touched jaws everybody right? died yeah nobody's right. touched jaws movies there's been a ton of places or companies and studios that have tried to remake the Jaws era into a new era, and it just hasn't met there. And I think the problem is, is because even the original Jaws, it wasn't CGI, right? This is actually a little mechanical shark to have. And in the first one, when they were filming, the shark wasn't working, so you didn't see the shark most <laughs> of the movie. It was how the movie was shot, mm -hmm. and the suspense and everything, which is really, really cool. Now they have CGI, and they can do whatever they want on, on, on screen, so it's a little bit different, but, uh, but you know, it, Going into the water, uh, it's scary when you see Jaws. When I see Meg 2, I'm like, mm, this probably is never going to happen. But who knows, when I see some Megalons, they might you know, just come up from the, the bottom surface and, and come get us all. Who knows? I'll be in a plane. I'll watch you guys from the sky. Um, <laughs> so we'll I get see. seasick, so I'll never <laughs> see you guys out there in the ocean. And I give this movie a 2.5. All right, so if you like sharks, you can go see this movie. Yep. Don't take our opinion. Go see it for yourself. So that's it, guys. We'll be back <laughs> with another tight medical movie review just for you guys. And uh, we don't know what we're seeing next. There's a couple good movies that are coming out. But don't worry. We're going to give you guys the inside scoop when we bring those reviews back to you. Later, guys. See you then. What's up guys, John here from Titan, and today I want to cover another fitness and tip for you guys to be able to utilize to be successful in your health and fitness journey. So let's talk about it. Consistency and repetitions. You might hear these words a lot in the gym or outside the gym by maybe trainers or nutritionists or doctors or whoever it may be, because these words mean a lot. Consistency. That means you're doing things over and over and over again. Repetitions. Repetitions are things that you're going to be doing over and over and over again. See how these two things go together, right? So, repetitions. Repetitions is something that you're going to do, right? Whether it's a bicep curl, a tricep pull down, whatever it is. How many repetitions are you going to do? This is something you're going to have to set forth in your plan, right? Get a workout plan together get it organized of what you're going to accomplish that day in the gym in that week and hit those goals some people they don't need to write things down but a lot of people cannot keep track of these things and cannot remember what they did last time they were in the gym so keep a notebook if you need to but you don't have to be old like that you got your phone right and it's usually on you when you're in the gym now don't get on it a whole bunch and check facebook or instagram and all these other social media platforms to get distracted but you can make a note and in the note have what you're doing that day and put your repetitions in there consistency this is doing something over and over and over again now being consistent with your workout plan your nutrition plan with your sleep routine whatever it may be but you're being consistent about it and you want to be consistent in a positive way 
using what we've learned before in previous things, like setting the notebook up in your phone and following your repetitions and following your plan and being consistent about it day in and day out. That's what differentiates the people that achieve their goals, the people that do not achieve their goals, right? They have to be consistent and they have to continuously do the repetitions over and over and over to get better. Think about it, whatever sport you play or anything you've done, the more repetitions you do at things, the better you get at it. That old saying comes into play, practice makes perfect, right? And it applies to the situation too as well. So take this little bit of advice of consistency and repetitions and apply them together to get a better result for yourself so you guys can get that great beach body you guys always want 365 days every single minute of the day for yourself so guys i hope this tip has helped you guys i'll have a lot more for you guys stay tuned and guys check out the website tightmedicalcenter.com if you guys want any therapies or any other things that we can help you out with here please call or text us 727-389-3220 and stay tuned for the next Titan Fitness Tip. Later, guys. What's up, guys? John here. I'm Sharice. This is Peter. And we are back with another tight medical movie review just for you. So tonight, we got to do a pre-screen, another one, of strays. And uh, if you guys don't know what strays are, that's a, a dog that's on the street and has no owner. Oh. And uh, it was too. voiced by Will Ferrell, Jamie Foxx, and then a couple other big actors. You know, going into this movie, rated R, looking for high expectations high comedy lines, some good jokes, and overall liking the dogs, right? And I'm a dog lover myself, obviously, look at Sasha down here. And Sasha loved this movie. She was enticed and... and, and I'm so glad she didn't bark in the movie. It's great. <laughs> she deserves as many sausage treats as she can eat tonight. She did well, she did very well. But uh, the movie was really good. The movie had a lot of good, uh, good jokes. Um, it was a good fast pace as far as that goes. There was no slow parts in the movie. Um, definitely funny. Like you, you, know, you know, if you're a dog owner, you'll you'll definitely understand. Some I think it's hilarious, things. even if you aren't a dog owner. I definitely think this is a rated R, like a super rated R movie. <laughs> so I would not bring any children to this movie. I, I, I did, I did, I do think though, if you're a dog owner, that you will appreciate this movie a little bit more. Yeah. Because you'll you'll have to go through some of the situations that some of these dogs did to their owners. So at that point, you'll be like, oh man, I remember when this dog, you know, did this in the house or wrecked this or whatever it may be. So. Yeah, definitely good. And so I will give it uh, 4.0. I'll give it a 4.0 out of five stars. I thought it was definitely funny, fast paced, it was good. I love the dogs. Uh, so I think it was a well put together movie. What about you? I'm definitely gonna have to go with a 4.0. Wow. Yeah, this is wow. a really funny movie. Like it made me laugh out loud, literally LOL, right? It was like really, really funny. Made me laugh out loud. Definitely good Not choice. many movies actually make you laugh out loud. They're just like, <laughs> or they're like, yeah, that is funny. But this is kind of like, ha 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 ha. Not like that, but you know what I mean. Um, it was funny. <laughs> it, was it was hilarious. Funny. It was definitely and out loud, um, uh, parts. definitely worth a see. Everyone yeah. over 14. Yeah. Peter? 3.5. What? No, that's high for Peter too. It's high for Peter. That's a high rating Would for you Peter. Like the comedy in it, Peter? Yeah. Yeah? Did you, what, what dog? Did you like all the dogs? Yeah. Did you have a favorite? No. No? Did you like the plot? I guess. Okay. All right. So I guess, you know, Peter with the 3.5, Sharice and me with the 4.0. Sasha, so what did you rate Strays today? Loved it. So get out and go see strays when it comes out and you know on, on the opening weekend and i think maybe that might be this weekend or next week i don't even know what day it is i just got the pre-screen so i'm like we're going to see this movie because yeah, we've been waiting to see this movie for a while yeah we, we get to see it in advanced screen we're definitely gonna do it um so we'll be back for more tight medical movie reviews just for you to give you guys the inside scoop on all these new movies that are coming out and remember don't take our opinion go see it for yourself have a good time take your loved ones go by yourself whatever it is, enjoy the movies. 
and enjoy our tight medical movie reviews. And we'll be back for more just for you guys. See you guys again inside Scoop. We'll see you next time. See you then. What's up, guys? I'm John. I'm Sharice. And we are back with another Cupid's Corner. That's right. Every week, me and my beautiful little wife over here are bringing you guys awesome tips, tricks, and things that will hopefully entice, improve, and ignite your relationship to whole new levels that maybe you haven't been at for a while or you've never even seen before. And listen, if you're single at this point in time, don't worry, you guys can use some of this great information for your future relationship to hopefully set you guys up for success mm -hmm. all the way through and through. At least on your side, you'll be doing your part. And hopefully your partner will be doing the exact same thing and reciprocating back to you. Hopefully. So this week we have a great topic for you guys. And I think every relationship goes to this topic. And Sharice brought this topic to my attention. I think it was a good one to talk about. Okay. So it is pressure situations for couples. How you deal with them makes the difference in everything, right. right? And pressure situations come about in relationships all the time. Every single day you might be dealing with something that's has low pressure or high pressure, right? Yeah. But the high pressure and dealing with those things really does determine how the relationship's going to go. So, you know, for us, we were talking about, you know, like, a, a big simple one to go off of is money right that's a that's just not a simple one right i mean because think about it if you guys don't have money which is keeping you comfortable right and even if you do have money it could, it could be a total reversal too but when you don't have money you're gonna be stressed out right because trying to figure out how you're gonna make the light bill how are you gonna pay how are you gonna put food on the table mm -hmm. how are you gonna do this how are you gonna do that and when you get in situations like that you tend to take it out on your partner. So instead of you guys working together as a team to accomplish what the problem is and to surpass it, you guys end up utilizing your you know, anger and all these other things that are going on and you take it out on each other. Yeah. And that doesn't make it any better. Yeah. It actually makes it 10 times worse. Absolutely. And when I met John, I told them, you know, I, I told him when I met him, I said, listen, I was like, one of the things that my parents, sorry, mom, one of the things that my parents would always argue about and every single argument that they ever had was always about money. Right. And it was blowout arguments. It wasn't like, oh, I'm sorry, what right? No, 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 no. It was like things throwing out of the house, they, you know, like all the fun things you hear that happened back in the 90s, right? Yeah. That anyway, <laughs> the stuff you were able to get away with in the 80s and 90s that you can't do now. Right. But anyways, things thrown, all that fun stuff, and you know, it was big, big fights. So I told John, like, I, that is one thing I don't ever want to fight about. Yeah. I don't ever want to fight about money. Like, if we don't have money, we figure it out. I don't want to fight about it, though. I don't want to argue about where it's going, yeah. who's getting it. I will always want to be straight up about it. Like, if he's going to, you know, in relationships, a big one too, is you know somebody giving money to somebody else without telling your significant other. Right. That's a big deal. That's a big deal. It is a big deal, yeah. right? Because then you'll find out like, oh wait a minute, and this is popular. So you gave your brother, you know, five thousand dollars, like, and now we're short on our bills. Like, do, why'd you do that? Oh well, he needed this for that, and he they're they're really hurting. Well, you didn't talk about it with me, right. and it becomes a problem. Right. So, I mean, this is something big. I mean, it's a big issue that I think a lot of couples either have gone through, will go through, or will go through, right? Unless you are aware of it yeah. and you just don't allow it to happen. Like unchecked spending, right. right? So, I mean, it couldn't just be you're giving somebody money that you might not have or it's going to take you guys a lot to recuperate from. Or it could be spending from shopping, right? Spending money you ain't got. You're making stupid um, you know, mistakes as far as with your money, like whether you're buying drinks for everybody that's out or you're buying dinner for everybody that's out um you're doing things that aren't in your budget you know and that could cause a big issue and rift at home big time um especially if your partner's not on board even if they are on board you know if they're agreeing to it and they know it's wrong ultimately it's not going to affect you guys right that single point but later on down the line where all the bills are due and then you guys are fighting. Well, you do want to do this. You did this. Uh, well, why did you do this? And why did you spend on this? Well, I told you not to do this. These are going to create unwanted issues with your relationship. And some of these things could be breaking. Financial um, situations with couples break. They do. It's like one of the. It's one of the most. Um, 
it's one of the most basic things that break up relationships. My parents Excuse got me. divorced over that. Yeah, financial situations with relationships never hardly work unless both partners get on board about what they want to do. And that's how you guys should yep. be. You guys should be on the same page thinking about things, right? Communication. And it doesn't mean that you can't spend things like go shopping or whatever it is, but you have to set budgets aside for that. And then you have like your own little money, like, oh, listen, I can spend a hundred dollars on this, right. um, and I can I can do this, and this is not going to affect our budget or our plans or our goals. And as you're a couple and you're developing as a couple and you're you're growing together, uh, whether you're getting married or you're having kids or whatever it is, you want to start leveling up, right? And that means you know if you're renting an apartment right now, you want to try to get a home, right? And at that point, you're going to need some down payment money, right? You're going to have to bring that credit score up. You guys are going to have to be good together. So at that point, you guys are working towards that goal. So set the together. goals. Because at that point, if you don't set the goals together, you guys aren't going to be on the same page and you guys aren't going to be working together. And when you guys set these goals together, keep each other accountable of what that goal is. Remind yourselves every single day, like this is where we want to go and this is what we want to be. Mm -hmm. This will make you better ultimately as a couple and all the way around, financially wise too as mm -hmm. well. 100%. Um, high pressure situations though, this could be something at work too, right? You have a high pressure situation at work where you have to meet this deadline, you have to come through with this, and this could be affecting your home, right? Um, we got you know we got a, a you know a guest speaker yesterday with Tim Grover coming here and, yeah that's or, cool on on virtual and, and talking to us about some of these things and you know when he's talking about pressure situations this is what makes a difference with, with people when right? you what decisions you make them, right? when you're going through the pressure situations right. that's when I had brought up to the staff because it's good we've been open for ten years right mm -hmm. well, I brought up to the staff I'm like listen you know everybody gets to see all the glitz and glamour and all this cool stuff that we've got now right. But it wasn't like that 10 years ago. You right. know, 10 years ago, me and John, we went through some really hard times right. together, you right. know? And, you know, we, we've had our fights. Yeah. This is, we've never not fought. You know, do we get past it? Yeah, we get past it. But, you know, we, we were down and out, you know? I mean, I was in a bad car accident. I lost my job because I couldn't work. You know, then we had to go, I had to go on unemployment. You know, it was just, it was not a good situation. And we had just had Peter. Peter was like two years old. Right. And it was like, okay, so what are we gonna do, right? And there was a lot of other moving components that were bad at the time yeah. that were going against us with the Absolutely. house and this and that so it was all one time and when you're under that much stress and that much pressure it's it's one of those what do you do when your back's against the wall right right yeah. you do do what are you gonna do are you gonna are you gonna sit and crumble and cry about it yeah. or are you gonna get up surpass it and go figure out a solution, yeah. right? Because you can complain all day long. Boo hoo. Right. Yeah, everybody has a boo hoo story. Everybody has a boo hoo <laughs> this. I know everybody's got a boo hoo book bag, but I'm telling you, you could boo hoo all day. It doesn't give you the solution that you're looking for. Right. And you don't want to take it out on your partner. The whole point is that me and him, we worked as a team to get to where we were trying to go, you know, and figure out, okay, so what are we going to do to pay the bills? Right. What, what, what do you got up your sleeve, John? Because I don't know what we're going to do. <laughs> yeah. So we went through our hard times, but, you know, it made me think, too, like, you know, wow. I mean, it was pretty stressful in those time frames, you Absolutely. know? I mean, so stressful, you may, like, you might have just wanted to go to bed. Didn't even want to, you know, get down that night because you're so stressed. You're tired. You're exhausted it's mentally, tough. emotionally, physically. You yeah. know, it's in that situation you're gonna have to pick and choose your days on who's gonna pick up who that day because yep. both of you guys can't be down right. because if one both of you guys are down neither one of you guys can pick each other up that's right so one of you guys got to stand up yep. one of you guys yep. and then maybe the next day the person the other person can sit down and then the next person stands up but that's called teamwork right and if, if you're having to pick your partner up that's fine but if it comes to a point where you're picking them up every single day, it's time for them to get that kick in the butt. Yeah, kick. Because they need to get up. Get up. And when you guys are both up and working together, that's when all the success comes. It you know, you can get by, you know, some days here or there, like let's say she's down to pick her up or I'm down, she picks me up. That's fine for a day and you can get past that. Mm -hmm. But ultimately to be successful, you guys both gotta get up and motivate each other to be better in everything you guys are doing out there. Uh, and to get past the situation or scenario. I mean, even for us, right, at that point in time, that's when we started tightening. And that's not when pressure just let off. <laughs> that actually increased more pressure. <laughs> like, hey, listen, this is either do or die. We're either going to do this or we don't really have a game plan of what it's going to be. And it's going to be an ultimate fail. Mm -hmm. and there's going to be some negative consequences that are going to be coming along with this. Mm -hmm. So you got to make sure you're giving maximum effort. you got to make sure that, listen, nothing is guaranteed in life. But you got to make it so it's an educated decision where you've, like, basically... 
looked at everything that's around you and like this is the best possible it's a calculated scenario. decision you're making it is a calculated decision so at that point you guys are making you know the best decision you possibly can with the information that you have um but yeah that's that's really where it's at i mean being together as a couple getting past these pressure situations and at that point will make you guys ultimately better all the way around through and through 100 yeah. percent. communicate communicate and both of you guys being negative at the same time never works so it, there's got to be a balance somewhere in there the yin and yang me and john have always been you know we're the unstoppable i will say we're the unstoppable <laughs> team you know because we are the yin and yang of each other you know me and him are polar opposites but we're really actually the same i know that sounds so weird right, yeah, right? but it's really weird we are we're totally opposite but not really so you know we make a good a good little match you know so you know with your person out there whoever you're with you know see where you guys fit in together where it fits like this you know and then make it work and move forward yeah and it was, a, it was a good example we heard from tim grower yesterday like you know diamonds everybody likes diamonds but how yeah, are diamonds that. created through pressure yeah right? pressure that's that's how it happens so yeah. you know a lot of magic happens with pressure situations and how you get past those situations together and that's when true success really comes um don't let it break you guys that, that's another thing it's really easy to quit mm -hmm. right? it's really to say I, I just can't do this no more you know i'm gonna I'm go done. i'm gonna go find a sugar daddy bye. i'm done right you know like, this is just not gonna work for me <laughs> <laughs> and it doesn't have to be, just like you said, financial. It could be any high-pressure situation. Right. It's just the most common one is financial for couples out there. Yeah. So get past it. Um, set goals for each other. Make sure you guys are setting yourself accountable for each other, too, as well. And make sure you guys are hitting those goals. So that's the biggest thing I can say to anybody out there. You got to write them down. Write them down. Don't just say them. Write them down. Talk about it. Right? Throw it out there to the universe. And hopefully it'll bring it back to you. What's that but, called again? But don't wait on What's it. What's it called? I, I, the thing, I, the magic thing. Yeah, I know. It's like... Uh, they do the documentary. Come on. I, I can't remember what Manifestation. it is. Yeah, manifesting. Yeah, manifesting. Manifestation. It is. So you're, you're manifesting. I am yeah. manifesting. But you're not waiting on it to come to you, right? A you're million to dollars to be on my front doorstep yeah. tomorrow. Man, that'd be awesome. Boom. There it is. I wish I could hit psych. the jackpot. That is psych. Billion or something like that. Yeah, manifest means get up and go get it. Yeah, go up <laughs> and get it, right? And uh, <laughs> set the steps that you guys need to do to get there, too. It's not just setting that goal like, I'm going to get this. Like, what are you going to do to get to it, right? A, B, C, D, and E. All the way up the, the ladder. So you guys are making sure you guys are hitting one step at a time. And you guys are on the way to that goal, right? Progressing. So... I hope this has helped you guys out. I hope you guys get past your high pressure situations. Um, there's a lot of them out there, especially right now in these times we're in. Mm -hmm. So at that point, don't worry. And, and don't think that you know people down the street might not have been in the scenario that you're in. Me and Sharice have been in the scenario a lot of people have been in. Been so there. at that point, we're talking from experience, guys. We love you guys. Every Sunday, 11 a.m. on ABC, me and Sharice will be here talking about the, the great things that we can to help you guys out relationships. And don't worry, guys. If you guys didn't get to watch us live, that's our bell because we're past time. Got to go back to work. But <laughs> <laughs> we love you guys. And come check us out every Sunday, ABC, 11 a.m., right? And if you guys didn't get to watch it live, DVR it. And if you missed that too, don't worry. Just go over to YouTube, type in Type Medical Center. You get to see this show and a lot of other cool content that we have for you guys. We appreciate you guys. We'll see you next Sunday on another Cupid's Corner. See you then.